Whenever you set a plier, if your floorboards are going horizontally, yeah. then what you do is you always run the ply opposite direction. You never run it the same way as the floorboards. Okay, I gotcha. Because that way you get a better bond and obviously it fits yeah. better. So but you always set them in the centre of the planks. So you don't get any joints, you don't drop them onto the joints. Yes, yes. That you understand? Makes sense, yeah. So we sort of centralise our boards here like this. Down. They screw down or no so down. what we use, we use a, a compressor <coughs> uh, with coil nails. So coil what they do is a high powered yeah. gun or compressor and gun that fires the pins into the floor um, okay. at an angle so they grip and they've got little coils on them to, to keep them stirring in the floor in the wood. Okay. So here we've got So when you're doing your cuts, what you do is, you get one board on top of the other, like so. So they're directly on top of each other, so that's square. Then we get another board. Comes across. So we've got a little notch here, so you've got a little wire going down to the wall. So what we do is we put it this side first. Yeah. Oh, you've just got to cut round that, have you? Yeah, so what we do is we put the board this side, yeah. like that, so it's by flush against the skirting. And what we do, we get our blade. This is a concave blade. We cut this with this timber with um, with blades because it's only 6mm. Anything thicker, you'd have to use a yeah. skill saw or a oh, jigsaw. Oh, right, well, that's handy. I thought we'd be using a saw on that. So all we do is we just gently score across. So, then what I do is I turn the board around to use it as a template. So, we come across here like so. Always put your knee on top of the board, Just cut through once, twice. Three times, no, it's still. It's a tough little sucker. <laughs> well, it snaps there we go. Like it snaps like that. Easy. Back there like so. And we get this board. Run it through. Was that too tight round that? A little bit too tight, yeah. Okay, so trim a bit and more there's a off. bit of a, a bit of gunk around here, so I'll paint residual, residual paint that's been left behind. So. And there's your first cut. Nice and tight. Yeah. <coughs> so we don't leave them. Um, any gaps. I mean, sometimes you can't as it because the ply is not ex completely square. So if you keep it as tight as you can, then what happens is the feather finish uh, will cover any gaps and seams in the in the ply and any pinholes that we leave when we put coal nails in. Right. Nice. How how thick is that feather? Uh, it's only a microfilm, so 
you go anything up to you can put it as thick as you want but obviously to the thicker you put it the longer it takes to go off so yeah. generally we try and put, obviously if the floor is a bad variation of floor it might sometimes this floor is not too bad i mean it's an old house so you are going to get variation in the floor apart from you're never going to get a completely level floor anyway no, so no. So basically what we do is we put the, the, the feather down to take any variation out of the floor if there's any cameras or whatever on the floor. Okay. Yeah. But first, we've got to get this done, haven't we? Yeah, and then we, um, we'll finish this and then move into the hallway. The other cut on the side cut now, so that just slips in like that, up tight to that, like so. That's your side cut now. Always stagger your planks as well. What's so that? Always stagger the planks. Oh, yes, you know, yes. stagger them. Yeah. So, what that does is, and so all you see, they're all sitting between the planks yeah. where I'll set it out. You never want them to drop on the joints because what happens is when you pin them down, they can move, they can bounce. And that way you can get pins that come through the tiles or yeah. they can start to move, you start getting squeaks and whatnot. So you just get a better fix it when they're not on the actual seam. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> so that's the width of the full board. All we do is we're coming across now with that to get as tight as we can. So, so on and so forth. to this side just to the edge so now we're biting straight against that all we do is we come across here like so Following that shape, so that will yeah. follow, the, that will follow yeah. the contour of the step in there. Obviously, you don't have to do it because we've got a gap here. That's it, mate. I'll cut that down. Then. Oh, Should we get him cut that then? Please. Uh, and generally, what we do is as well, we make sure that we've got no bits. If things like that gets underneath the ply, again, it can make noises, it can start squeaking, it leaves a little ridge in the, the uh, floor. So we need it to be as clean as possible when we're pinning it so it doesn't leave little tiny lumps and bumps and obviously it sits nice and flush everywhere, etc, etc. Okay. Now is that bit going to fit to you? Like a glove, eh? Okay. So, 
Okay, so it's nice and tight. The bed is nice and tight. It's lovely to flush by the fence. Lovely! It's coming. Together. <laughs> when the plan comes together. <laughs>